Mel Haber is truly a one-of-a-kind personality. We hope you will enjoy this insight into the boss. He is best known for his quick wit, thousands of stories, and of course, his smile that is never ending. Good morning, Mr. Haber. Good morning. Here you have some cute anecdotes. Oh, God, I've got a lot of anecdotes. You know, having had so many restaurants over the years in Palm Springs, it seems everybody in this town worked for me at one point or another. But my favorite story about that is one day I'm at the car wash waiting for my car to come through. And there's a young man standing a few feet from me. And it's only the two of us. A few minutes pass, and I said, hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I said, good. A few minutes more passed, and I said, how's business? He says, we were pretty slow last time. I says, yeah, we were too. Where do you work? He says, for you. So that's one of my favorite stories. Sir. That's how I remember all my employees' names. Another great story here is one day, a gentleman came in with a local lady, sat down, and ordered dinner and a bottle of wine. And the lady got up and went to the ladies' room. And before you could turn around, three different law enforcement agencies swept in, FBI, Sheriff's Department, local police, with a helicopter hovering overhead. And it seems this guy was some well-known scam artist that they were looking for. And they whisked him out of here in two seconds. Well, my fabulous maitre d' Brian, who everybody knows is quite the character, when the last policeman left, Brian said to the policeman, what about the check? The guy had a $120 check. Only Brian could do that. A couple hours pass, and the policeman comes back and says, okay, Brian, I took the money off the guy. Here's your $120 for your check. And Brian said, what about the tip? Only Brian could do that. Brian is infamous for that. When I first opened up, one of my first famous guests was Ed McMahon, the famous sidekick to Johnny Carson. And I was thrilled to have him here. And in those days, we used to put matches in the room with the name of the guest and a little personal note inviting him to have a cocktail in the lounge as my guest and all kinds of personal touches. Well, Ed McMahon checks in and he goes out to the pool with his lady friend at that time and he orders some drinks. And he calls me up on the phone by the pool and says, Mel, can I see you for a minute? He said, I go out to the pool and he said, I got to tell you, I've been all around the world, but you are unbelievable. I don't know how you do this. And I said, what, Mr. McMahon? He said, all these personal touches are amazing. The matches, the note in the room, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know how you made the cocktail napkins with the M on it just for me. Of course, the M standing for Melvin's. And he thought I had made them exclusively for him.